Hello, my name is Tom. I am 66, I'm married with three children, and I live with both dementia, Louis body dementia, and Parkinson. One thing I found these groups, exercises, and the talks, the speech th therapy I go to, and cafe, memory cafe, and the arts, and rock, wherever, no, art, and something else, and so, arts and so. You meet people that have it, something similar. They got Parkinson, or they got dementia. And that in itself gives confidence to people because they know they're not alone. They get support from people. I saw a lady in the Parkinson seminar, she collapsed. And I see all these people with Parkinson gather around her to help her up. I said, this is a special community. And I'd say that the same with dementia. And I think what you're saying, how can we further that? Is I believe we got to sort of be happy with ourselves and confidence and not to be shy because I learned to tell people I got Parkinson and I got dementia like the boats. I towed the boats when I got it. I couldn't get, I had a problem getting down these bleachers and I had to jump off the side, but there's a guy standing there. And I just tapped him on the shoulder and said, look, am I falling? I got Parkinson. I might, he said, don't worry, mate. I just, we'll make room and we'll make sure you don't fall. So you got to learn to have confidence and not be, have any fear. Now I can understand that because one important thing I see now is we, I know the dementia is seen on TV and that. But ask my question, do the public know how to approach people who know dementia or Parkinson? And I think to me, we got to build a bridge between, and this includes Parkinson, a bridge between all of us and maybe educate them that, you know, we're human beings, and we're normal, and I don't have no fear. That's just like my friend Steve, the quadriplegic I work with. He taught me, not because I did it, he did not like people say Steve in the wheelchair, Steve the quadriplegic. He wanted to be known as Steve. Treat him as a person. So that's my friend Steve, that's it. I don't go beyond that. All these people at the memory cafe, they're my friends. They're my friends with dementia. They're my friends. And that's how I look at it. And I love to see that we can get together with the public, that they know that they can come visit, or we can go out there and have maybe programs for the public who's not aware or don't understand the mantra of Parkinson, so they get a basic understanding. And so hopefully, it doesn't put any barriers, but it drops the barriers and they'd be more open to ask, to inquire, and not be so fearful of us when we walk around.